so the uniqueness of this collection of all in the timing because it is six short plays um and then uh a little blurb about each piece okay so all the timing as a collection uh of plays sort of in 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 my view is is it's very well designed in terms of like the the uh it, it okay I, I, at first at first glance you it seems a bit disjointed it's like what does sure thing have to do with variations on the death of trotsky you know which is first to last right and how do we get there why like okay so sure thing is basically two people it's a meet cute sure thing is a romantic comedy but if you kept getting something wrong and then making the wrong move or saying the wrong thing and it ends right but you get to go through and keep going back and going back and going back and going back and getting the exact right thing for these two people um, in Sure Thing, which ends up having them be together. Uh, then we've taken another piece uh, from another collection of Ives called Mere Mortals, which is uh, three construction workers, uh, basically without giving too much away three construction workers standing sitting on uh the girders of a steel of a skyscraper discussing who they really are uh it's got elements of saturday night live and it's got elements of uh of uh waiting for godot it's it's it, it, it's a pretty out there play i like it um that leads us into something called words 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 which all I'll say about the tagline for words, words, words is if you've ever heard the the the, the concept that three uh, apes typing into infinity will eventually produce Hamlet. That's words, words, words. Um, then we go into the universal language, uh, which I will warn those who are watching uh, is a play that is not in English. Uh for the most part, but it is a uh, fascinating piece uh, that deals with not only language and harmony and music, but also relationships. Uh, then we go from that to the Philadelphia, uh, which takes place in the city of New York physically, but metaphysically in Philadelphia. Uh, and then after that, what we end with is variations on the death of Trotsky, to which I will say I owe a debt of gratitude to the Marvel series WandaVision uh, for the concept for the variations on the death of Leon Trotsky. Um, so seemingly six or seven one acts, there is another one that we chose not to use because we don't have the wherewithal to do a musical. It's called Philip Glass buys a loaf of bread, uh, which is a part of all in the timing, but uh, we are not doing that in this production. Um, Seemingly, these things are very disjointed, but if you look at them from a bird's eye view, they've all got something similar to say. They're all about how fragile relationships are in the modern world and how important relationships are in the modern world and how difficult communication is in the modern world and how are we supposed to go through and what does it all mean and why are we here and you know so to that end there are elements that we've put throughout the 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 six pieces that unite them um and audience will recognize those as we go along um without giving too much away you guys gotta come so the main theme to me that connects all of these stories the the, the this is going to be a very esoteric answer. To me, it's like living in a Rene Magritte painting. There's a beauty and a vibrancy and a, 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 a color and a, 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 a brilliance to surreal, but it's surreal. So one of the characters in one of the pieces to me to me uh this is this sort of encompasses the whole thing one of the characters in one of the pieces says i am in love with you and the response to that is really and then she responds she goes so really that to me is the main thing of all in the time the, the it's 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 an absurdist existentialist view on everyday life
which I find to be really fun and funny. What do I want the audience to get out of the entirety of the production? Mostly, I want them to get a good time out of it. Um, beyond that, I would like them to take a look. I would like them to take a look at not wasting any time. Don't waste any time. Don't waste any moments. Don't make any interactions trivial or meaningless. Because a lot of things that we go gloss over and a lot of things that we think are trite or unimportant are actually very important. And they're more important than a lot of the stuff we think is important. So don't, don't, the, 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 there's a line in Trotsky that talks, Trotsky, they keep talking about Trotsky looking, going and looking at the nasturtiums. Take, take, take a minute, go look at the nasturtiums. It's important. Why should people come to see All in the Timing at the Zephyr Theater? Because we're going to give you a challenge, but we're also going to give you a good time. And in my opinion, there's not enough of either one in the world right now. Is there anything else that we need to talk about the play production? The only thing that the only thing that I will say is I'm super proud of all of the actors that have uh, gotten involved uh, with this and have given so much passion and so much energy and so much love uh to uh, a project that is merely a labor of love and i continue to be impressed and admire the dedication and creativity that they've given to this labor of love and for that i deeply 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 appreciate that i'm michael yavnielli uh i am the producer and director of western warburton's production of all in the timing six one act plays plus mere mortals uh at the zephyr theater on melrose avenue we open on october 14th run through november 20th we have three shows a weekend uh you get tickets at uh on stage 411 uh slash aitt and uh we'll see you at the theater should be a good time